Hey guys, welcome to Solo React Talk. Today, I'm gonna to be reacting to Warcraft 3, Reforged, all cutscenes and cinematics, Reign of Chaos and the Frozen Throne campaign. This is episode six. If you wanna check out my previous episodes, I'll put the card right up here. Let's start. Okay, three, two, one. the demons will no longer corrupt the forests. But if I destroy the skull and claim its powers as my own, I will become stronger than any of Archimonde's lieutenants. Yes, the power should be mine. <laughs> now I am complete. Demon, what have you done with my brother? It is I. This is what I've become. No. Illidan, how could you? The leader of the undead has been destroyed, and the forest will heal in time. At the cost of your soul? You are no brother of mine. Be gone from this place, and never set foot in our lands again. So be it, brother. Okay, so I guess Illidan, instead of giving that skull to, um, to Arthas, he decided to consume the power himself and he became a full, you know, half demon, half night elf uh, creature. The, the creature that we know of from, you know, in World of Warcraft. Because um, now he looks very familiar in terms of the way he has the wings and the horns. So, yeah, that's all coming full circle now for me. I understand now how he became this way. Because uh, in the last episode, episode 5, he didn't look like how he looks, you know, in World of Warcraft. Especially in the Legion exp uh, expansion pack. Of the game so yeah this explains it we have no time for this what are we doing out here last night in a dream a great raven spoke to me and summoned me to this place we were summoned here as well. Who are you, Outlanders? I am Thrall, son of Durotan, war chief of the Horde. And I am Jaina Proudmoore, leader of the human survivors of Lordaeron. You are not welcome here. Peace, Priestess. They've come to aid you against the Legion. It was you in my dream. But who are you to make such an offer to us? I am the reason for the Legion's return. Years ago, I brought the orcs into this world. And by doing so, I opened a path for the demons as well. For my sins, I was murdered by those who I cared for most. Despite my death, war raged across the lands of the East for many long years, leaving entire kingdoms devastated in its wake. Now, at long last, I have returned to set things right. I am the Deev, the last guardian. I tell you now, the only chance for this world is for you to unite in arms against the enemies of all who live. Yes, Medivh is right. He made the mistake. I, I, I think it was beyond his control, though, right? Uh, his body was possessed by... Um, I think it was Seragrass, if I'm not mistaken. 
So it was beyond his control what was happening. It's kind of like what's happening right now to Arthur's as well. In a way, um, he's also doing things beyond his control. His soul has been taken. So, you know, Medivh understands what he did was extremely wrong. And he's trying to correct that. He's trying to help uh, the young ones <laughs> to try and save the world. So, yeah. Just as we feared, Archimonde and his Doom Guard are making their way towards the summit. He'll be here any moment. Ten thousand years ago, we Night Elves defeated the Burning Legion. Though the rest of the world was shattered, we were left free to live out our immortal lives in peace, bound to the World Tree. We are its protectors, and through it, we were granted immortality and power over nature. Now, at last, it is time we gave that power back. You realize that we will age as these mortals do. Our powers over nature will wane in time. If pride gives us pause, my love, then perhaps we have lived long enough already. I will proceed to the summit and prepare our defenses there. Whatever comes, my love, remember our bond is eternal. our bases with support and keep us from being overwhelmed, Thrall and I will delay Archimonde's ascent. Your plan is a bold one, girl. Perhaps I have misjudged you, Outlanders. May a loom shine. nations from the world is talking all you demons do Storage. show yourself or do you intend to have mortal girls do all your fighting for you Stronger than you know, demon. If we are to fall, then so be it. At least now, we are free. You'll actually hurt me. <laughs> are there none left to stand against the Legion? This is almost too easy. If I had known that this mortal resistance would be so weak, I would have launched this invasion centuries ago. Archimonde's victory here has made him overconfident. He will not see the trap that I laid for him until it is too late. The way to the world tree is clear. Witness the end, you mortals. The final hour has come. held him back as long as they could. Were you successful in planning the summit's defense? Yes. 
Now our victory is assured. Okay, so they've set up a trap and it looks like he's at the wall tree already. So I think this is all part of the trap as well. And <laughs> I, I kind of find it funny how um, Jaina and Thrall were busy, you know, ticking him off, making him angry, making him frustrated. And once he believed that he defeated all his enemies and he was going straight for the gates, um, he was like he believed that he was a short victory. He didn't really think about what was uh, the night elves doing, you know, uh, especially Storm Age. What, what what is he doing? What what kind of trap is he laying out for me? He just thought I'm just gonna walk through all of this and go straight to the gates and just get to the tree. He didn't even think about any kind of plans that they might have uh, against him. So he's very predictable. Yeah, I remember that cinematic as well. Um, I'm just trying to remember what did uh, one of my viewers say. I think it was Jesse Thoth. He, he told me that um, uh, Storm Mage summoned like some sort of spirits of the forest. I think. I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember right now. It's been so long. <laughs> but... Yeah, he summoned some sort of like spirit wisps, you know, uh, spirits of the forest. And they all coalesced and attacked uh, Archimonde and destroyed him. But in doing so, they also destroyed the whole tree. Um, and But it does grow back, right? I think, yeah, I think it does grow back. So it's not the end, it's just that, you know, they had to sacrifice a huge chunk of their own power. Uh, the, th the very things that make them immortal and have all this magical power to defeat Okamonde. I think that's how it goes. Um, I'll have to read again <laughs> uh, what my uh, friend said, but I think I understand what was going on here. Yeah. If I'm wrong, guys, please, in the <laughs> comment section, correct me. But I think I, I think I've got this one. Just as the orcs, humans, and night elves discarded their old hatreds and stood united against a common foe, so did nature herself rise up to banish the shadow forever. 
As for me, I came back to ensure that there would be a future. To teach the world that it no longer needed guardians. The hope for future generations has always resided in mortal hands. And now that my task is done, I will take my place amongst the legends of the past. Yeah. Uh, Mediv completed his mission. He's done. He's going back into the afterlife, if I could say that. <laughs> yeah, when he said that the world doesn't need any more uh, heroes or, you know, ultimate guardians or powerful people, I think he was right. You know, uh, the world can be protected by the normal folk, you know, the normal people on the street. Uh, the Alliance or the Night Owls and the Orcs or should I say the Horde and yeah let's continue Betrayer in truth it was I who was betrayed Sometimes the hand must be forced. Uh, yeah, I remember that line. He used it in, uh, what is it? Uh, World of Warcraft Legion. Yeah, World of Warcraft Legion. Uh, when he brought Argus into the vicinity of um, Az Azeroth. While they were fighting, kill Jaden, I think. Yeah, that's the same line he used. At that time, I also didn't understand why was he using that uh, line. Sometimes the hand must be forced. Uh, like, I was so frustrated with him uh, when he brought Argus into the vicinity of 
of Azeroth because I was like, I mean, isn't that the Burning Legion homeworld? Isn't that dangerous to bring it so close? But I guess he was right to bring it close. And I guess, you know, even in this gameplay for Warcraft 3 Reforged, we're going to see whether what his decisions that he makes here are going to be right as well. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's continue. These tracks are fresh, but they split off in opposite directions. Illidan must be getting help from someone. Your orders, mistress. You watchers split up into two parties. Scour the woods. Find what you can. We'll meet you further up the coast. Remember, sisters, if you find Illidan, do not attempt to take him without the rest of us. He is far too dangerous to tackle alone. Yes, mistress. The rest of you, follow me. Guilty that Wilson. village has been razed. The bodies have been mutilated. Do you suppose demons did this? Illidan's stench hangs heavily over this place. But those tracks were not made by any demons I know of. Be wary, my sisters. There's no telling what horrors Lydon has called to his side. Mistress, the Furbogs have succumbed to the forest corruption. It's as if they've lost themselves to mindless rage. Their tribes suffered greatly during the Legion's invasion. They cannot be saved. My party was attacked by a bloodthirsty wildkin. Apparently, Illidan's passing drove the creature mad. There's no telling how many more innocents it might harm. This madness must end. We will find the creature and put it down. There, mistress. Those must be the creatures we're after. Legion, my heroes. You are no match for the Naga. Naga? Many craven races have tempted our wrath over the centuries. None have survived. Wretched woman, we will retake the surface world and put an end to your vile race once and for all. These poor folk were slain just like the others. Illidan has much to answer for. He'll wish he were still chained in his cell when I get through with him. But these wrecks, why would they destroy ships? I don't know. Wait. He may have taken to the sea. Hurry, sisters. The port of Nendis lies to the north. Perhaps there we can find a ship and set sail after Illidan. Not allow Illidan to escape again. We must slay those Naga before they burn the ships. You are too late, little warning. The Master has already set sail for distant shores. However, he wished to thank you for the hospitality you provided during his imprisonment. He asked us to repay you in kind. You're certainly welcome to try, monster. Mistress, do you believe we can defeat Illidan even if we find him? Illidan has grown powerful. Of that, there is no doubt. He consumed the energies of the Skull of Gul'dan. Now he is neither Night Elf nor Demon, but something more. Mistress, why would the Naga harbor so much hatred for us? We must trust time to reveal all things. Now hurry. Illidan has a considerable lead on us. We must capture him before he causes any more harm. Okay. Illidan's 
uh, allies are causing havoc and it seems like there's a side effect to his new powers every time he passes by or he's in contact with a different species they go feral and mad and you know they just want to attack anything and everything that moves around them so i wonder does he know that or does he know that and he just simply doesn't care you know for him um it doesn't really matter as long as he gets to defeat the burning legion which is something i would expect from illidan <laughs> so yeah i think he knows the side effects of his powers but he just doesn't give a damn Mistress, we followed Illidan's course due east, as you asked. But these strange islands do not appear on any of our maps. I suspected as much. These islands must have been formed only recently. What makes you say that? The ruins all around us, Nysha. I recognize them. This was once the great city of Suramar. Built before our civilization was blasted beneath the sea 10,000 years ago. But how could... Are you suggesting that these islands were somehow raised from the seafloor? Perhaps. Though there are few powers left in the world capable of raising islands from the deeps. Regardless, it's a mystery we'll have to solve later. We'd best head inland and set up a base camp. Once we're situated, we pick up Illidan's trail. Here, sisters. Let's establish a base so we can continue our hunt for Illidan. An orc? I smell the stench of demons about him. Rest easy, stranger. This old wanderer has no quarrel with you or your kin. I am Drakthul, once a powerful warlock of the Storm Reaver clan. Now, I am the last of my kind. What are you doing here? Your pardon, lady, but I am hunted by restless ghosts. They've chased me day and night for nearly twenty years. Perhaps if you silence them for me, I will tell you my tale. I'll consider it. The dead will trouble you no more, old orc. Thank you, stranger. Now, hear my tale. Nearly twenty years ago, the great warlock Gul'dan raised these islands from the deeps. He sought to unearth an ancient vault that held the remains of the Dark Titan. Sargeras, you speak of the Legion's creator. The same. After Sargeras's defeat ages ago, his remains were locked away in an undersea tomb. Gul'dan believed that opening the tomb would grant him the Dark Titan's power. For his pride, he and the rest of our clan were torn to shreds by crazed demons. I have wandered these isles ever since, haunted by the ghosts of my slaughtered comrades. Your tale is as intriguing as it is dire, Drakthul. It's a shame your ghosts lie silent. You deserve far worse than their company for what you set loose in this place. At last, the tomb of Sargeras is found. You, my trusted servants, must remain here and guard the entrance. If that wretched warden managed to reach this island, she'll certainly try to follow us. Illidan. I knew we'd find him. We'll have to fight our way through the Naga's defenses in order to follow him. We locked Illidan beneath the earth long ago. I intend to do so again. Now quickly, my sisters. Illidan must be stopped at all costs. Oh, 
Ah, okay. So Goldan's um, past dealings and nefarious, you know, activities have come back again in the hands of Illidan. He's trying to get into the tomb of Sargeras and get the power. Um, the warden with her companions are all trying to, you know, uh, get to Illidan and try to stop him from getting the, all this power. It's all quite interesting. And I'm assuming he got all this information after, you know, absorbing the energy from uh, Gul'dan's skull. So yeah, that's interesting. I have a bad feeling about this mistress. It's too quiet. It feels as if we're walking into a trap. Still, we must press on, Nysha. If Illidan finds whatever it is he's seeking, he could... Wait, look there. Strange. These are orcish runes. They were written by... Dan, when he first opened this tomb 20 years ago. What do they say? Apparently, he logged his journey through the tomb's depths. These runes seem to depict that history. Quickly, you fools! Fan out and search for the primary passageway. We must reach the chamber of the eye before the tomb's guardians awaken. Spineless cowards, I said move. Now, Sargeras, I will claim whatever's left of your power and bring this wretched world to its knees. There's no telling what Gul'dan and his lackeys awoke in this foul place. We must be cautious. There, more of Gul'dan's glyphs. Interesting. They continue the warlock's tale. Blasted, feeble-minded weaklings. They're all likely dead by now. Still, I must press on. My power alone should be enough to... <laughs> that laughter. Is that you, Sargeras? You seek to mock me? We'll see who laughs last, demon, when I claim your burning eye for my own. Again, he referenced this mysterious eye. What could it be? An artifact, no doubt. It must have contained tremendous demonic power to lure Gul'dan as it did. Suffer. Well, guys, that's it for episode six. Um, yeah, one chapter closes while another one opens. Uh, Illidan is now becoming the antagonist <laughs> in the storyline for Warcraft 3. And I'm just wondering what happened to the other demons who were serving um, Arch uh, Archimonde? What happened to, uh, what was his name again? I can't pronounce his name, Trigarius, uh, the demon, demon lord Trigarius, something like that, I forgot his name. The one that Arthas is against, you know, mainly. I wonder what happened to that guy. And also, this skull of Gul'dan. I'm not entirely sure, oh wait, wait, this, this Gul'dan is the original timeline Gul'dan, right? It's not the alternate reality, uh, alternate timeline Gul'dan. Because that's the Gul'dan I like. This Gul'dan, I, I don't, I'm not really sure about him. Um, but he's funny. <laughs> he's funny. Uh, the way he, you know, berates his servants and people who are under his command. command. So, yeah. Um, it is quite interesting how Illidan sacrificed everything to attain more power and also trying to go into the Tomb of Seragas to also attain more power. I wonder for what exactly? Why does he want to attain that kind of power? Because isn't he powerful enough already? Um, 
and he hasn't really explained like who is he gonna fight against and why is he collecting so much of this knowledge and power but I guess maybe he's also just a bit you know mm, ambitious in terms of what he wants he doesn't really care about who he has to run over as long as he gets it so yeah I hope in episode 7 he you know he further explains his motivations for going into the tomb of Seleucus and trying to find if there's any power that he can, you know, control for himself. And yeah, uh, Surama, I thought the entire city was, you know, gone under the oceans and, you know, you, they would never find it until World of Warcraft uh, Legion. Yeah, I think that, yeah, yeah, the city came around Legion, Su uh, Surama. It came around the Legion expansion. So yeah, uh, maybe these are like outskirts ruins of the city. I'm not sure, but yeah, I find it quite interesting. And I guess that's it for part for episode. Sorry, not part. Sorry, I'm thinking about World of Warcraft cinematics and trailers <laughs> for episode six for today. Uh, remember, if you like the video, give me a like comment and subscribe to my channel also click on notification bell if you want to be up to date with my latest videos okay guys for episode 7 on friday bye bye